everybody, welcome to the Dev Environment. I am Charlie, and today we are going to talk about bundling our applications to be submitted to app stores. So whether it's Google Play or the Apple App Store, um, it's quite easy to do, especially if you're using Expo Red or TypeScript, uh, which is a little quick start that I created for Expo and React Native. I'll link in the description below, as well as there's a video um, that I made uh, just last week. And so if you just want to get a quick start, you can click there. Um, so first up, I'm going to do iOS. Um, so we have the iOS script right here at the top of the package JSON, um, and it says build iOS. So this is the command. I will copy and paste this in the description as well. Um, but we can just run npm run build iOS. And so we have just the basic application that we have from um, last time, which is just two screens. It's really simple. And so when we run this build script, as long as we have all of our expo Xcode tools installed and everything, um, then it's going to run just uh, a bundler that's going to create um, an app file. Well, it's actually going to create a tar gzip file, um, but then we'll be able to extract the app from it and install it onto our device. So this is just going to take a second. So I'm just going to pause the screen really fast and we'll come right back. Okay, so we're back. And so we have this build uh, tar.gzip file. And so if I just go reveal in Finder, then I'm going to have this file. I can double click it and it's going to create a app bundle like Expo Red or TypeScript, an app file. It's going to have a cross through it. And that's because it's not made for Mac OS. It's made for iOS and it can't be installed on Mac. So my computer is just telling me I can't install it. But what I can do is I can grab it and just drag it over into my iOS simulator. And just like that, it's installed. And now we have a production bundle of our application. Um, using Expo, and that's how easy that is. Android is a little bit harder, um, but let's go through it together. Um, so in order for the ability to install on Android devices, we need something called an APKS file. And so in order to create that, um, we first have to run the bundle Android command. So I'm just going to run npm run uh, build Android. And that's going to start uh, creating what's called an AAB file. And it'll take a sec, so I'll be right back. OK, the script has completed. And now you'll see we have this build dash and then a unique identifier dot AAB file. Um, this uh, AAB file is great. However, we can install this on the Android simulator um, because it's a bit newer. So what we need to do is we need to convert it to an APKS. In order to do so on a Mac, we're going to use brew. We're going to go install, um, and it's called bundle tool. And so bundle tool is just, I already have it installed, so it won't, but um, it's, a, it's a tool that allows you to convert um, AAB files into APKS files, and then also install them onto your simulator. So now that we have the tool, we can go bundle tool. And what I'm going to do is build dash APKS. And then first of all, what we want to do is we want to take the bundle and then what the name of the AAB file is, I'm just going to copy that and then set that to the bundle flag. And then I'm going to set an output flag. Um, and I'm going to call it uh, expo router typescript uh, dot apks. And then so what's going to happen is that's going to bundle this AAB file uh, into an APKS file, which just finished right here. And so now that I have this APKS file, I can install it on my Android device. And once again, I use bundle tool to do that. So I'm going to go bundle tool install dash APKS. And then I'm going to it takes the APKS flag, and I'm going to use the Expo Router TypeScript APKS name. I'm just going to copy that and paste it here. And then just like that, it now installs. As you can see here, uh, we now have our app installed there. I can also go into the main menu, and you can see here's Expo Router TypeScript. So if I click it, um, oh, my Android simulator is kind of being a little wonky, there we go. And I install it, then you'll see now I have both the Android and iOS build of my application. And so those are both ready to submit to app stores if you create an app store account, which we'll do in the coming weeks. Um, but I just wanted to show you just how to build your production build of your application. Um, and so you can test it uh, in its completed form. All right, thanks so much, I'll see you next week.